In this video, we're going to talk about chess tactics. So this is probably the best thing you can possibly do to get better at chess once you know the basic piece movements. I would start by just taking a quick glance at chesstempo.com. Their list of tactical motifs is incredibly detailed. And just learn some of these basic terms. Actually, the, the first book I read um, for chess was called Attacking Chess by Josh Waitskin. And it basically just had exactly this list of examples and puzzles. Um, yeah, excellent, excellent book. It just kind of says, this is what a fork is. And it's when a piece attacks two at once. So let's see. Oh, this knight is checking the king and attacking the rook. Take that rook. Or, for example, queen d5, attacking the king, checking. So I have to block and then taking that rook. So lots of great examples and terms you can see. And then you can practice um, on Chess Tempo. I, I really do recommend uh, this site as probably the best place to train tactics. Um, or you can use chess.com or Lee Chess. And Lee Chess has um, a great amount of puzzles as well. So let's get rid of this. Puzzle Storm gives you a time limit. And I'll just uh, move to start. Let's try some of these. Okay, what's the best move in this position? Knight f3 looks great, because we're going to win this rook for a knight. Good trade. Knight d5, we're going to fork, and our king's in time to stop that pawn. Rook c7. So, I'll try to explain what I'm doing a little better. Um, if this pawn, like, black doesn't have too many pieces, right? So, there's only this rook and this pawn are, like, the only interesting pieces, really. These other ones are kind of stuck. Our king's not really doing much. So I immediately look for forcing moves like a check, and I see if I move my rook up, it's attacking both the king and the rook, and it's defended by this pawn. And it just so happens that the opponent is not going to be able to stop this pawn. So they'll have to move their king and lose their rook, or if they take my rook, then the pawn is so close to queening, there's no piece that can control that square in one move for the opponent. So I guess they choose to forfeit their rook instead of um, giving up. This is a checkmate attacking that king. No piece can block, and the queen guards this escape square. So checkmate. What do we got? Another checkmate, almost. It's not quite checkmate. It is, yeah. Check and mate, because the queen will take, and then this rook will take. Oh, you make me do it? You don't just resign? Come on. Okay, so anyways, you see how many you can get within the time limit. Um, I, I'm not actually that fast. There's other people you can look um, that are way faster on YouTube or Twitch. So anyways, that's... um. Chess tactics, I really can't recommend trying these enough. It can get really fun and addictive. You want to, you know, improve your score, get a high score. I had a friend named Anthony. Every time he went to the bathroom, he would pull out his phone and do a chess puzzle. So you can find ways to kind of work this into your life, into your daily routine. And you'll start to see much more clearly when you're playing a real game. If you, if you train with these tactics, you'll kind of see where your opponent's attacking, where you might potentially have good moves. It helps just train your calculation, which is really um, what's going to improve your chess a lot. 